Hello Crossroads Community Church. Happy New Year. Here we are at the beginning of another year, 2021. A year with dreams, with hopes, a year set before us that we don't know what it's going to bring. If last year was any indication, lots of things can change fairly quickly. We wouldn't have thought that uh, when we began last year, when I shared at the beginning of the year, on the first Sunday of the year, I would not have ever thought that for nine months of this past year, I would be sharing with you through technology rather than in person. Yet, we made it through that year. We had some losses, people we cared deeply about, are not with us and we mourn and we grieve we think of their families we think of those who um, who we've added people who um, we didn't know even before um, meeting via the internet um, but others have joined us on this journey others have come in to our circle of friends, even through the internet. And so if you're one of those, we're glad you've joined us on this journey. As I take time to think about what I would share this first Sunday of 2021, the one thing that I think I can share is that the thing that grounds me that has grounded me through the past years um, is something that my dad taught me. Something that as a young person I, I think maybe I was a bit more skeptical of, um, though I tried to do walk along with him and understand. But my dad spent a long time um, doing a Bible reading and daily I would watch my parents um, read the scriptures together. And so that has become something that grounds me. And many of you know, if you get our text message or our messenger, each Sunday um, we send out a passage of scripture. And so in this past year, I read through the scriptures. In 2020, I read the Amplified Version. I figured there was going to be lots of time so I could read a very wordy, um, adding to um, Bible and the scriptures. And so... I completed reading through the scriptures and some of you um, read along and you might have completed reading through the scriptures but the one thing I have learned on the journey is that just like the people in the scriptures we forget way too quickly what Creator wants to teach us and so I read again and I read again and I read again. And the amazing thing is, is that it continues to speak into my life, to speak where I am today. So this past year, I have shared insights um, through the readings, through as uh, this book speaks. The book doesn't speak because it's a bunch of words written on pages. It speaks because Creator speaks into our lives with the breath we take through the world around us, through this revelation of a God who wants to know you, wants to know me, wants to interact with us, and wants to change the world through you and me and how we love our world as we are loved. What an amazing message of hope. Our world sits at a time in history where it still needs that message of hope. We walk through this baby in a manger, this incarnation, God becoming human, walking among us, this story that draws the hearts of people around our world through the Christmas season. We've spent time looking at that. But this story is a story that impacts us and 
through its impact, wants to reach out to the world. In the Salvation Army, in Canada, in Bermuda Territory, we spent uh, 12 weeks in October, November and December, many people across our country looking at uh, Phil Needham's book, Christ at the Door. And one of the things uh, at the very beginning has a picture that many people might see um, uh, different places with Jesus knocking at a door. It comes from the book of Revelation, Behold I stand at the door and knock. We just completed the book of Revelation to end out the year. Um, but the concept in this book was that Christ isn't standing at the door knocking, just wanting to come in. Um, the one thing is that he's standing at the door knocking, inviting us out. A vision of William Booth I've shared different times is a vision where Jesus is in the water saving those who are drowning. People without hope out there who need you and I to share this message of hope. Today, this first Sunday in 2021, I don't know what, the, what 2021 holds for us, but I do know that the one who has brought us together in community is creating a space for us to walk in, you and me together in different ways, maybe through technology, maybe through other ways, I don't know what they are. But we are invited out into our community to share a message of hope, a message that light has come into the darkness and nothing can extinguish it. A message that people are loved, that people are known, that people um, are, are, are waiting for you and I to come let them know that. As we journey together, we take each step as people did in history, not knowing what the next step will bring, but knowing that the one who walks with us is faithful and wants to walk with us on that journey. Will you come and journey with us this year at Crossroads, wherever you're at? Um, if you're interested, we begin the year once again, reading the scriptures. I've started, I'm going to start a new translation this year, one I haven't read before. Um, if you don't have a copy of the scriptures, let us know. We'll get you a copy. But if you want to join us and read through the scriptures this year and see what God wants to say to you, prayerfully, thoughtfully, journeying together, let us know. We'll get you a copy. We can email it. We can send it out. Um, but as we hear, as we listen, as we just sit in the scriptures, I believe God will call us out. Call us out into our world to share that love, to show the light that shines through us to others that we would love, and that our world, at the end of 2021, would be a better place. Come journey with us. Come let God be seen in you. And may we be the ambassadors of light and love in our world. God bless you. May this year be a year of growth, a year of maybe challenge, but a year where we sink deep into the roots of what God has for us. Blessings to you and your family.